and I am pleased to provide the mayor's report for the period of uh, September 7th through uh, 19th, 2011. And I just want to highlight some of the events that uh, the city took part in as well as provide some updates and then I do have a proclamation as well. Uh, first, uh, I want to advise that uh, on September 7th, the Thompson Economic Diversification Working Group held its first meeting of the fall. And I want to acknowledge and thank the uh, stakeholder groups that attended, including Kuwait and Tribal Council, uh, Thompson Unlimited, Thompson Chamber of Commerce, um, the, um, uh, I believe uh, NACC was also in attendance. And uh, um, I'm hoping that I haven't uh, omitted anyone. I'm going to look for Deputy Mayor Lafrenia to ensure that I'm there. Uh, and I just want to touch a little bit later on, uh, on some uh, work that the group has done. On September the 10th, along with uh, Councillor Collada, I uh, participated in the commemorative ceremony marking September 11th. It was the 10th uh, anniversary of September the 11th, and uh, it's hard to believe that uh, that amount of time has passed. Uh, but I do want to really acknowledge and thank uh, members, uh, volunteers, as well as staff of uh, uh, the Cross Lake Fire Department and Thompson Fire and Emergency Services uh, for putting that event on, uh, as well as the rodeo that followed. And I want to make special note of uh, Bob Smith and uh, Darlene Beck of uh, Cross Lake, who spearheaded uh, uh, the organization from their side, and of course, uh, Chief Thompson and members of Thompson Fire and Emergency Services. I want to thank all those that uh, attended the event. As I said at the event, I think it's extremely important. Uh, often with time, uh, people's memories can, uh, can change a little bit, but that is an event that we have to recognize because every single day, uh, officials with uh, fire and emergency services, paramedics, RCMP, military, deal with those issues on our behalf and make our community safe. So I do want to acknowledge and thank all those who participated. On September the 17th, along with Councillor Robinson and joined uh, at the last minute by Councillor Fenske, um, we participated in the YWCA Walk a Mile event. I want to acknowledge uh, Angel Anderson as the uh, uh, president of the YWCA, Judy Collada as the executive director, highlight uh, Arlene Ketchmar for the work that she did in organizing that event. It was absolutely a tremendous event. Um, I understand the fundraising went very well, but I think more importantly than just the fundraising, it brings recognition to the cause of domestic violence and violence against women. And I think that that is something I want to thank all those who showed up and uh, took the opportunity to participate in the event as well as sponsor. And I'll note, as I did in my opening address, that, that it appears we were missing one member of the council team, uh, Councillor Fenske, Councillor Robinson, but I trust Councillor Ev Evenson will find a pair of red shoes in his size next year. Judy, can I leave you in charge of that? Thank you. On September uh, the 18th, I uh, participated in the Terry Fox Run, and I want to thank uh, Tracy Williams and all the volunteers that put that event on. It truly is uh, uh, recognition of an outstanding achievement by uh, the individual, I believe, voted the most outstanding Canadian, or, or one of the uh, top five outstanding Canadians. And, and I had a chance on Saturday night to watch a, a bit of the uh, uh, TV uh, highlighting the, uh, the accomplishment of Terry Fox, and it truly is stunning when you think about what he was able to do. So again, I thank all those who uh, took part in the event, uh, BRHA, as well as uh, volunteers and those who sponsored. Just one other, uh, not really an event, but an opportunity that uh, presented itself was that the uh, Premier, Premier Selinger, was in Thompson on uh, Saturday and uh, did attend the, uh, the YWCA event, and I did have an opportunity to speak briefly with the Premier, uh, as well as Minister Ashton, uh, regarding some of the issues that we've discussed earlier in the, uh, in the meeting, and I look forward to uh, ongoing discussions uh, with the, uh, the government of the province of Manitoba. In terms of updates, I do have a few updates I want to present. Uh, the first is that uh, I've had a number of concerns expressed regarding the status of the website, and I can tell you uh, the easiest way for me to explain this is that I do want to advise that uh, our website is under construction and we are endeavoring 
uh, to try and get uh, our new site up and running as soon as possible. Uh, in the interim, we've asked our administration to ensure that we look at any information that is outdated and uh, remove that as well as ensure that we try to keep the website as current as possible by placing uh, new information. Uh, as the mayor, I certainly am uh, also to blame as I don't believe the mayor's report has been very uh, current, uh, but I'm gonna ask for the assistance of Shaw to ensure that uh, the report is provided and posted on our website. So we are working on it and uh, we'll continue to provide updates regarding the status of the website. One other item I want to note is that I think as people have uh, seen around the community, uh, we are endeavoring to get a large amount of paving completed and we're doing sections throughout the community. We've tried to mark those sections as best as possible. Uh, it's unfortunate, I can tell you that the contractor is working very hard and is very busy doing an awful lot of paving in the community. So they uh, go to a site and they may leave it for a period of time and come back. Um, I ask for people to uh, pay attention to those areas. Uh, please practice safe operations in and around. And I can tell you that I believe it is near the end of this week when most of that paving should be completed. Correct, City Manager? Thank you. And uh, just on that, I've got to tell you, and I encourage people, one of the things that I was very pleased to see was the completion of a portion of Ospawagan in the Burntwood Trailer Court. And I can tell you that we still have just the, uh, the edges of the road to be done. And again, I've been advised those will be completed by Friday. I want to thank those residents for uh, putting up with the inconvenience for almost uh, uh, nearing a month now, but I really believe that the end result will be well worth it. Another update I want to provide is that, uh, and I thank Council for, for the direction on this, is that City Council will be once again this fall holding the, uh, the uh, event Speak Up Thompson, which will be community neighborhood meetings. Uh, Council has planned two such meetings. The first will take place Wednesday, October the 12th at Wapanak Community School. The second meeting will take place on October the 26th at Westwood School. Uh, both will uh, uh, run from 7 to 9 p.m. I encourage residents to come out to those events and the name is Speak Up Thompson. That is an opportunity to have counsel there to answer any questions or comments you have. And uh, we encourage people, I think Councillor Fenske said it earlier, come out and uh, put your questions uh, to council. I think that that's part of the job that I think we all enjoy. We're here to work with the residents and I look forward to that opportunity. Uh, lastly, I want to, uh, I had mentioned earlier the Thompson Economic Diversification Working Group and uh, this morning uh, we uh, provided a news release that I do want to read for the record and the information of residents and that uh, is as follows, education and training the top priority for the Thompson Economic Diversification Working Group, released September 19th. The Thompson Economic Diversification Working Group would like to announce that through an ongoing community stakeholder consultation process, education and training has emerged as a top priority for Thompson and the region. Other clearly identified project and priority areas including housing, a correctional facility, infrastructure, community branding, tourism, downtown revitalization and health care. We are especially pleased to see that the priorities identified by our stakeholders and the community so closely align with our vision, values and goals of the City of Thompson. The working group has met four times and has conducted community consultation through stakeholder interviews, an open house, and a present at community events such as Health and uh, Leisure Mart. The work has been supported by Michelle Dryley and the team from Replan. The next steps will be to form an education and training subcommittee to more concretely identify the needs and to conduct a series of intensive workshops and consultation meetings relating to a correctional facility and restorative justice for the North. Uh, Mr. Sepatelli commented that he's been uh, impressed with what we've been able to accomplish in such a short time. Uh, what, have, uh, what would have taken upwards of 10 years for the City of Thompson to comp complete, we will be able to do in a year, thanks in large part to the Valley's financial commitment, the efforts of replan and dedication of the working group members. The City of Thompson and Valley jointly launched Thompson's Economic Diversification Working Group in May 2011. Valley is funding the process and the roundtable work is being supported by Replan. 
a Canadian firm with decades of experience helping resource-based companies and communities adapt to change. Thompson Economic Diversification Group is driven by the City of Thompson's Sustainable Community Plan to accelerate the implementation of the Sustainable Community Plan. The City of Thompson is undertaking a number of projects to support the work. Projects include a review of the City's uh, Community Development Plan, the Zoning Bylaw, and the development of the Sustainable Asset Management Framework and Regional Infrastructure Plan. And I'll just note that following Valley's announcement in November, we thought, and I think many believe, that Thompson could overcome the challenges before it. I think the work of the Thompson Economic Diversification Group is absolutely saying we are doing it and we know we can. So I provide that for the record. The last one before the proclamation is last week was a very important week for the City of Thompson. Uh, I often uh, am challenged with people saying, uh, uh, what are we as a community? I'll tell you one thing that we are as a community. We are still a great mining community. And I want to acknowledge and thank the leadership led by Lovro Pollock at Valley and Murray Nichaporek at the United Steelworkers and all the members for their commitment, their, uh, their uh, support and moving forward with a uh, collective bargaining agreement and moving uh, this community ahead. It, uh, I really do admire the work. I said in November, I truly believed we have the right leadership in place in this community. And those two gentlemen, for me, clearly demonstrate that. And I thank Lovro and Murray and all the members. And I look forward to the next number of years. I truly believe Thompson is on very solid footing, and it will be an exciting time. Lastly, believe it or not, is a proclamation. And by the virtue of the authority vested in me as the mayor of the city of Thompson, I hereby proclaim September 26th or 30th, 2011, as right to know week in the city of Thompson. That concludes the mayor's report. I know a number of councillors have attended events throughout the last two weeks, and I'm going to ask if there's any comments that they would like to share with the public. I know Councillor Collada wants to talk a little bit about the event on Saturday. Well, I just want to thank all the, the gentlemen in this town who were man enough to don red high heel shoes and walk for a good cause. And I especially want to thank the sponsors of those men. Uh, fundraising is, is something that's crucial to the Y, and part of the funds go to uh, eradicate domestic violence. We make a donation to uh, the MAPS and to the Crisis Centre. So I want to thank everybody involved with that initiative, and, and Council, uh, certainly the gentlemen on Council really looked good in their red high heel shoes. Thank you. Councillor Byer. It wasn't uh, an official council um, event, but on Saturday night I went to see the play Melody that was put on primarily by high school students. Um, the only disappointment in the evening was the number of people sitting in the audience. Uh, people in Thompson really missed a very unique play. It was written in uh, collaboration with uh, David Boyce and uh, a former student of Artie Parker who came up here for especially for the weekend. The props were just phenomenal. The acting was terrific, and this was a musical, and I'll tell you, we have some powerful singers, uh, young singers in their early 20s coming up that can really do well. Uh, Jesse Mosnier is one, and uh, Miss Bonwick, another one. Just really lovely to see. So I would just encourage residents of Thompson that uh, when the high school, especially if it's called Dragon Voice Productions, is putting something on, it's worth your while to go and see. Because uh, it won't be just another high school production. It'll be something pretty good. Thank you. Any further comments, questions? Councilor Robinson. Thank you, Your Worship. I also attended uh, Walk a Mile in Your Shoes. Uh, I'd like to recognize also the fact that the youth of this community, the Norman North Stars, participated, including a young four-year-old gentleman that also raised funds for the Y. So my hat goes off to them. Very good job. Thank you. Seeing no further comments, before I call for a motion to adjourn, I want to end this meeting because it is the last meeting for our City Manager Patrick by saying, Randy, on behalf of the City of Thompson, I do want to thank you for your work over the last three years. And uh, as I said before, I think that uh, the City has come a long ways in terms of our planning. We have a number of documents in place. I want to thank you for your leadership. I want to wish you and your family all the best in, uh, in moving west again. And uh, thank you very much for, uh, for making Thompson a better place. So all the best. Give me 
one second. I want to thank you, and I want to thank Council for the opportunity. This has been a phenomenal community, and uh, enjoyed working with the people. I've enjoyed working with the staff, and I've particularly enjoyed working with the Council. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Deputy Mayor Lafreniere.